up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. I've been, you know, busting out some of the blues licks lately, and I was playing this one lick that I've heard a lot of guys do, and I don't think I broke this particular thing down yet. So I'm going to show you just one cool little lick. It's really good on, on turnarounds, um, but it doesn't, you know, just like any blues lick, it doesn't have to be on that one spot, but it is really good on a, on a turnaround. Um, also, I have some bonus blues licks. That blue link right there, you can click it, and I've got uh, some awesome, famous style blues licks that you can check out. I really appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, let's get to this lick right now. We're going to zoom in and do it. All right, here we go. All right, so I was playing a bluesy thing in A. So we got the A blues scale, or the A minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> Got the extension, I've talked about a lot of this. Now the lick that I'm thinking of is a lick that kind of uh, ends on the, f the five, uh, the five tone. I don't mean the fifth note of the scale, but the like actual five tone of A, which is an E note. Now also in the turn round, you get some kind of E dominant chord, like an E9, or an E Hendrix chord, you know, so like on a turn around. So the lick actually ends on that E note, um, which is why I was saying earlier it's good for a turn around, but it doesn't have to be. So the basic gist is... Starting right there, or right there, uh, we'll do the, the main one first. I'm, I'm starting with my index finger on that fifth fret of the G string, and you know, all kinds of stuff on that string. The actual uh, lick itself starts on that fifth fret. Then I'm doing a real quick pull off from the seven to the five on the D string. And then I'm going to that fifth note, which is the seventh fret on the A string, and I'm gonna do a up, up pick to get there really quick, like, like that. So a cool thing to do is with a with like a jam track or when you're practicing your licks, try and play some licks and then kind of end with that little phrase as like one of your, you know, you could call it a cadence. See that? throw it in there, add it, you know, to your vocabulary. Here it is uh, in that next position up of that extension. It'd be the the eighth fret of the high E, then the pull off between the ten and the eight on the B, then the middle finger, boom, right here to the nine of the G. <laughs> oh, and if you play it that way, it's from the Tom Petty song. Uh, Oops. Pick up. And in the other position I like a lot would be in this A rooted minor pentatonic spot. Just like that. And it would be, uh, I'd use my middle finger on the 13 of the B, and a little nudge bend right there. Then the pull off between the 14 to the 12, 
14 to the D. of your phrase either, um, you can get it in there. lesson was helpful to you. Uh, I've got those extra blues licks for you right down there. You can check them out. I really appreciate it. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in another video lesson real soon. Take care. See you later.